Have you ever felt the presence of the unexplainable in the middle of the night? A mysterious ghost stood between my truck and a fatal destiny. The ghost that saved my life on the road and prevented my fatal accident in La Rumorosa. Years ago, when I was still a young truck driver navigating the roads of Mexico, I experienced something that is still hard for me to explain. The story unfolded on the dangerous La Rumorosa Highway as I headed to Tijuana, transporting a load of sugar from Guadalajara. This journey was expected to last at least 48 hours, given the heavy load I carried. After nearly 40 exhausting hours behind the wheel, I reached Mexicali. Fatigue was beginning to weigh on my shoulders, but the challenge of crossing La Rumorosa awaited me, known for its steep slopes, tight curves, and deep ravines. Moreover, the infamous reputation of that eerie place added an extra layer of mystery to the journey. I considered taking a few hours of rest, but the urgency to reach my destination urged me to press on. It was already past midnight when I decided to continue my route after grabbing a coffee at a roadside cafe. As I climbed into my truck, I glimpsed a woman signaling in my rearview mirror. The darkness made it hard to see clearly, but I noticed she didn't seem to touch the ground. Dressed in white, with her long hair waving strangely, as if moved by an invisible wind. Intrigued, I got off the truck to find out what she needed. As I circled the trailer, the woman was nowhere to be found. I felt a chill, but I decided not to dwell on it and continued my journey towards La Rumorosa. A few hours later, around two in the morning and halfway through, I turned on the radio for some company. The night grew eerie, and despite the caffeine in my system, my eyes were dangerously closing. At that moment, a female voice echoed in the cabin, Don't fall asleep, don't fall asleep. A clear and eerie whisper that jolted me awake. The radio emitted strange noises, and the cabin felt unusually cold. Looking to the side, I found the same woman from Mexicali, but her appearance was completely different. She was pale, with dark circles under her eyes, and her clothes were dirty. Emitting an unsettling presence, she didn't speak, just stared at me with cold, penetrating eyes. She raised a bony hand and pointed towards the front of the road. In that instant, I realized my truck was heading straight for a cliff, a deep ravine. With quick reflexes, I turned the steering wheel forcefully, managing to control the vehicle and avoid a certain death. When I turned to thank her and ask how she got in, the woman had disappeared. It was as if she had never been there. Trembling and sweating, I thanked the ghostly woman who, in some way, had intervened to save me from a dire fate. Making the sign of the cross and trusting myself to divine protection, I continued my journey with a mix of astonishment and gratitude. In subsequent trips through La Rumorosa, the memory of that eerie experience always haunted me, but so did the gratitude for the mysterious ghost that crossed my path. Despite the unsettling nature of the encounter, I owe my life to that supernatural presence. The experience left an indelible mark on my memory, and as the years go by, I still wonder who that woman was and why she appeared to save me. La Rumorosa, with its mysterious aura, became a place of reflection and gratitude in my life, reminding me that sometimes, even in the darkest moments, invisible forces are at work in our favor. Don't forget to follow us on stories and events. Thank you.